This is a work boxing. About to hit you everywhere but under your feet with this one. Uh, this is a video for Tank Davis again going at Floyd Mayweather. And this time I think he has good reason to go at him. With it, especially with the things that he's saying that Floyd's doing. Uh, he's asking why the hell is Floyd going back and forth telling Al Heyman about the cars that he's buying. How he spends his money. Says Floyd is going around literally taking pictures of his license plate. <laughs> and sending them to, Flo I mean, to uh, Al Heyman. Now, the thing I want to mostly say, because there's a lot of people you know who love Floyd Mayweather, who will call you a bitch in a minute and get on your page or your channel and try to dog you. We all have jobs, right? And when you get a job, uh, you sign paperwork for you to get that job. Would you let a manager dictate your life just because you signed and he gave you a job? So I don't understand why is it that people are getting on Tank's page and saying that Floyd gave you another belt, Floyd did, that's Floyd's job. You don't let another man dictate policy to you like that. If you do that, then you're not a man. You know, this all comes back to the same thing of Adrian Broner. See, Floyd don't bother people or go at people who you don't see as a threat. And uh, Tank Davis is a threat to his so-called proclaimed throne that he possesses in this world right now, especially in the world of boxing. Uh, Tank has the skills to be the next Floyd Mayweather. I have no doubt in my mind if he had the right uh, company to push him, which he's supposed to be with the right company right now, uh, he will be the next Floyd Mayweather. He fights like Floyd. He's uh, he, he's just a great all-around fighter. And I think Floyd knows that. So now, I think Floyd's whole plan is to come and try to crush this young man's empire, which is totally wrong. You know, I can't say Floyd is a great fighter, too. But Floyd has a lot of ways that a lot of people don't understand. A lot of you guys are too young to understand what men shouldn't do. A lot of you wasn't raised around men. A lot of you were mostly raised around women, so you wouldn't understand that what Floyd is doing is wrong. You don't do things like that. You know what I'm saying? Taking pictures of a man's license plate, like, what type of shit is that? But I think the whole point of it was they probably weren't really expecting uh Tank to go out there and defeat uh, Cellular or Quaylar, however you pronounce his name. That wasn't an easy fight. At one point I thought it was until I went and I saw this guy fight and I saw the way he comes and the way he delivers and they wasn't expecting him to uh, win that fight. So now I think that Floyd is a little pissed off that Tank is, uh name is still up there. You know what I'm saying? Even with him knowing that Tank wants to leave Mayweather Promotions. And which a lot of people ain't realizing, a lot of people want to leave uh, Mayweather promotions. People are getting sick and tired. You know, he's like Puff Dad a boxer. You know, he want to be all in the videos. He want to be dancing behind you. You know, and uh, I just don't like the fact that people are getting on this guy's page and saying like, he's supposed to owe his loyalty to Floyd. No, he signed a business deal with Floyd. Floyd is supposed to be his manager and supposed to put him in a... Uh, best fights that he's supposed to for him to win titles. Floyd makes money off of him. So why would he go and put him in low budget fights or not get him another title belt? You know, I just think it's ridiculous that people just ride another man's coattail like that. Floyd Mayweather's a man just like you and me, has a lot more money than you and me, you know, but at the end of the day, he's a human being, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, stop looking up to him like he's God, you know, and don't disrespect another man because he knows he's not God. You know, uh, what I think Tank needs to do, Tank just needs to get away from Mayweather Promotions. Uh, if he could, he need to find somebody who will buy him out of his contract, like Floyd. Uh, you got somebody to buy him out of his contract. Because what's going on is uh, it's a disgrace, man. You know, you're supposed to be uh, making this guy the best fighter possible and moving him up in the ranks to be where you are at. But like once I said again, you know, this is what happened with Adrian Broner. You know, Floyd, when he see you on that market to coming up, he going to get over there and he going to go start doing whole shit. You know what I'm saying? Get into your head, try to knock you off your pivot. But uh, to me, it don't look like he going to knock Tank off his pivot because I think uh, Tank understands what's going on. But to sit up and take a picture of a man's license plate and go send it to another guy, you know, and I'm wondering like what would Al – do about that like why would you send Al Heyman a picture of his license plate and tell how much money he's spending and at the same time you won't even go to your own fighters fight 
You know, at the last fight, Floyd wasn't there. He wasn't in the ring. He wasn't sitting outside the ring. So that should show you that it's some form of jealousy or some form of problems that's going on out there. You know, the man left TMT and went and fought and trained with a, a whole nother team. You know, so, you know, people just have to realize what's going on and realize that men are men. And I understand and I see a lot of dudes are not men. You know, like I said, uh, no man should dictate policy to you. Uh, that was a business deal. You know, um, he's not God. He doesn't, Tank doesn't owe him anything. Tank owes him to get out there and go and defeat the fighters that he put in front of him. That's all he owes him. So to sit up on pages and, you know, bash this man for speaking his opinion, you know, it, it that's not right. It doesn't make sense to me. But uh, I think it's time for Tank to go ahead and leave uh, Mayweather promotion and go to, I, I really want him to sign AB. That's who I really want him to sign with. Even though a lot of people say there's no such thing as Adrian Brown and promotions or about billions promotion, I think that's where he needs to go. I think that's where he'll be more comfortable at. And, you know, like I said in my videos before, you can say what you want about, about billions, but Adrian Broner has put two of his friends uh, in positions. You know, Robert Easter and uh, Warren. You know, these two guys have gotten belts from signing with Adrian Broner. And what a lot of people don't understand is uh, there's a lot more fighters wanting to sign with AB right now. So, AB is um, not probably the best guy, you know, to sign with if you want to suit and tie guy, but Floyd Mayweather, he isn't either. I mean, uh, a lot of people, they sit up and, and look around and think that Floyd is just this great businessman. No, Floyd has good backing behind him. Leonard Ellaby, uh, Al Heyman, these are the people that's running TMT. You know, uh, So stop getting on pages and, and disrespecting people because they're their own man. A lot of you uh, guys, if Floyd was to come to you and give you a car and tell you how to, uh, and tell you, hey, I don't want you to drive this car after seven o'clock, you still get the car. And what you don't realize is that you just became somebody's bitch. <laughs> but you know, uh, I just had to get on here and you know, uh, tell y'all the scoop of what's going on and get my opinion on it. It's only my opinion for the, uh, Mayweather fan boys is gonna get up here and say this and that, but you know he's he's the only little man. He's not God. Yes, he's a billionaire, or close to a billionaire. But at the end of the day, you can't make policy to no real man. You can't dictate nothing to no real man. And I respect Tank for what he's doing. But this is easy work boxing. Thank you for your time. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.